Hi, it's Dave Robison from PlantCoverCrops.com. I'm at Robison Farms down in central Indiana in the Greenwood area. It's February 1st, 2012. We're looking at the different uh, growing cover crops. They have not yet gone dormant and it is February. Obviously there's been snow, there's been cold. I think our coldest temperature has been down around zero. But obviously our ground didn't freeze and our cover crops have not gone dormant at this stage which is uh, highly unusual and yet uh, wonderfully remarkable. We're looking right now at some annual ryegrass. This is an annual ryegrass blend of a couple different uh, varieties, winter hardy varieties. And um, just wanted to compare that uh, ryegrass that, that would have a very fibrous root mass and I don't have a shovel with me or a backhoe with me and it's too wet to dig with a backhoe anyway although I'm not sinking in uh, on this long-term no-till field um, but my guess is is that uh, we probably already have uh, 25 uh, plus inch deep roots uh, this is the first year cover crop on long-term no-till I may be uh, amazed that we'd be in the 30 inch range or so uh, by now uh, we will be doing root pit digs this uh, spring to take a look at that. Uh, next to cereal rye, winter cereal rye. And uh, you can see a considerable amount of difference, uh, a different color, different wheat leaf type. Uh, both of them happen to have the three letters R, Y, E in them. So sometimes people get confused with rye grass versus winter cereal rye. Cereal rye would be more like a, a, a wheat or a, a triticale or something like that. In fact, uh, triticale is a cross between wheat and uh, cereal rye. This uh, product, on the other hand, the species, does not have quite as much uh, uh, root depth as what rye grass has, typically. And also, it does not have quite the fibrous roots uh, that what the uh, rye grass has. Again, we may be in the 20 inch range or so on the root depth already. And again, it's February 1st. So these plants have been putting down roots since they were planted on uh, September 16th and when they got germinated uh, fairly shortly thereafter. So we've got a lot of root mass, but the difference between the cereal, winter cereal rye versus the annual rye grass both from a forage perspective, from a cover uh, perspective, and from a root depth perspective, they're very different. And uh, yet they're still growing quite well here on uh, February 1st, 2012. It's Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com at Robison Farms in the Greenwood, Indiana area.